Folks, high and low here. Here's a quick knife review on the Gonzo 7452. It is very reminiscent of a, an HK knife. I'll, I'll look up which uh, which version that is later, but it really looks a lot when I open this thing up. You notice it really looks a lot like the uh, HK knife. So, whoa, big knife. Big blade on it. It's got a whistle. Maybe I'll take that off for the rest of the review just so it's not flopping around. But it does have a whistle. Haven't tried it yet. Probably want to clean it since it's probably straight from the factory. But looks like it's got a nice little uh, survival whistle. Now, I like the orange color. Uh, you can find it real easy in the dark or in the bottom of a pack. This is a big knife. Um, it's got the nice G10 scales on it. It's fairly narrow. Uh, and it's got sort of an interesting blade shape. On here it kind of narrows and then thickens again at the top. Let's see if I can get a out of that at all without focusing in there come on my so it kind of narrows in here and then flares out a bit at the tip i like the knife shape nice strong blade shape it's not incredibly thick because they've got it sort of narrowed out here but it's uh it's a good blade shape no wiggle no wiggle at all and, and again the axis lock is stiff play is stiff t8 screws so you can mess around with a pivot if you want, um, make it make it uh, lightning fast. You're relatively deep carry in your pocket. This much is going to be sticking out, so there'll be some sticking out. But it's a big knife, so I don't expect to, I don't expect you to be carrying it around every day. Great blade centering, uh, some kind of jimping on the top, which is not very useful. This is this is pretty good back here, but up on top of the blade, it's pretty pretty slick. Pretty good thumb studs. Let's see if we can get a shot of the thumb studs there. Come on. There we go. Pretty good thumb studs. They're a little slick. Um, but people complain about them barking up their thumbs, so can't have it both ways. Nice handle shape. Lots of room for your hand. Uh, I've got sort of medium-sized hands, so you can see I've got a lot of extra room down there. This is a big, this is a big knife. That's for sure. I, I'm not going to be carrying this with me. This is going to go into a, a backpack or something because, uh, or in my glove compartment because it's a, I mean, I can barely get it on the screen here. Uh, big knife, a good actual G10. And you can pick these up for, you know, they're about $18 and you get a lot of knife for $18. I got this one uh, at Gearbest as well. And it's got bronze pivot screw, or sorry, bronze pivot washer. But I believe only one. I'm see if I can get in there and see if it's both or not. But um, let me see. Uh, no, it looks like it might be both. It might be both. So good knife. I'll give you a quick size comparison. And here's your Swiss Army knife. So this is a big, this is a big knife. Big solid outdoory knife and for a, another size comparison here people are more familiar with the Gonzo 704 which is also sort of a, a similar HK design so here's a size comparison between these guys you're getting you're getting a lot of knife with this 7452 I'm trying to line up the pivot screws here but it's a you get a lot of knife in here got a stone wash finish on it which is nice hides the scratches it's not my favorite finish but it's uh it'll do again it says 440 steel on there so i'll take them at their word i haven't heard a lot of people really complain that it's not it's always hard to tell what goes into it but you know i've, I've had pretty good luck with the with the steel on these They're, they've been pretty pretty durable and Sharpens well and all the other good stuff that 440C should do. So, you know, if you want a big survival type knife to put in your pack and pull out if you need it, uh, this is definitely the one. It's got open pillars and it's got an open lanyard, which I don't like, but, you know, they, they got to save costs somehow. Nice knife. You know, very, very good utilitarian blade shape. Um, a lot of cutting surface on there. Highly recommend this one uh, if you can find it, and uh, I got it for under twenty bucks. You can't, you can't complain about that kind of price. So, Gonzo seventy four fifty two. Hope you enjoyed the review.
Check out some of the other reviews on my channel. Appreciate it.